you know, I can be honest with you, like some of the chemicals, like I don't, didn't recognize some of those chemicals, but all the chemicals that I recognized are fracking chemicals. You know, I kind of suspected that there would be some things. I can honestly tell you that I was, I was a bit surprised how much. I mean, I knew, but I was like, wow. And then again, I knew it, but I had no idea to the, to the level. Um, and I guess that's because we're just completely, you know, it just completely encompasses us. It's at every angle. It's not like we can look to our right or left and be like, it's not there. Um, and then just anywhere that they go, whether it's school or whatever, it's there too. So obviously like looking at the kids, there's a worse. I suspected some, but not to the level that it was. Whether it's skin issues, rashes, breathing issues, a little bit of behavioral issues too. I was like, well, this is strange. Um, you know, that, that correlated, but I've sort of done that, you know, charted that myself through the years when they were little and was like, oh, well, this makes sense now to see what's happened. You know, other people that I know, like they all want to be tested now because I was like, <laughs> they all want to be tested and send stuff to the lab that you use. And just, just again, just for knowledge of it. And so that people, when people say stupid stuff to you like, oh, that just isn't true. And these are radical people and it's one family or all the poor shit, frankly, that they tell everybody. You can go, oh no, here, here you go. The more information I have, the more um, ability I have to, to inform people of like, no, this is really going on. And this isn't just people I work with, like this is happening to me and my kids. And you know, this isn't just that person down the road. I have a, it's a new uh, family that her husband's from the area. They were originally from the South Hills and they literally are building a house here. And I know what road they're on and I know right where the fracking is. And so, you know, I, I bit my tongue from saying anything, but I thought, wow, like they moved back here to build like their dream home. And are they aware of what is going on? I'm sure he is, but is she? And they have two little kids. You know, and I, I said, I want to move, but you know, like, where do you go? I was like, Maryland, maybe, you know, and, and that's a possibility. But then it's just all of this other things like businesses, home, school, like it's just, there's so much. And we have been looking to move anyway. And we've, we've been looking at properties just, but you know, we go to Cannonsburg, there's a cryogenic plant, you know, there's just, it's, there's no escaping this. We can get a little further away from it, but even in Maryland, you know, you're on the board of Pennsylvania and Maryland, you're getting, you know, you're just, so it's, it's a tough thing, but you know, we really have been actively searching for properties now. So.